Hello, and welcome to Outside the Frame. My name is Miranda Hofelt, and I'm the curator of 19th century American art at the Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute. And today we have a ghoulish topic to look at. We're gonna be discussing this painting uh, done in 1851 by the French artist Narcisse Virgile Diaz de la Peña, or Diaz as he's known. He was actually born in France to Spanish parents. The year that Diaz painted this picture, he also became knighted as a knight of the Legion of Honor in France. The picture is actually a nighttime scene and it's this kind of eerie uh, feeling that we get. Uh, and it really reflects the mid 1800s, fear of the darkness, which pretty much continue if you think about bumps in the night or a sound that you hear when you're outside walking by yourself in the dark. In this picture, if you think about the nighttime uh, in the 1800s, people still believed that the night was the dominion of the devil, if you think of the term the prince of darkness. And particularly on full moons, his minions would come out to do evil deeds and terrify uh, the human population. And certainly what we see here is a suggestion of that. And this painting is called The Sorceress, in which we see uh, a young, nubile woman walking out under a full moon and a witch or sorceress whispering something in her ear. And if you think of things like Snow White and the terrifying visage of, of the witch. The other thing we think is that probably a fairy tale may have inspired the subject matter of this painting. Um, if you think back to Grimm's fairy tales, which were published first in 1812. And they're a compilation really of folk tales like Hansel and Gretel, which was originally, we think, a folk tale that came out of the Balkans in the 1300s, or somebody like uh, Little Red Riding Hood. So these are folk tales that would be told when the family would gather around the fire at night. And parents and grandparents would tell these terrifying stories to children to teach them and warn them about the dangers of the night. The other major feature in this painting is the moon that you see almost in uh, the upper center of the picture. There were a lot of popular beliefs in the 1800s about the moon. Of course, it was considered on a full moon. Uh, it was a great time to actually be outside and walking because with uh, really street lamps very much at their beginning and certainly not available in the countryside like you see here. The full moon was also thought to be uh, the most dangerous time of the month because that's when evil was its strongest. That's when pestilence and disease really developed. That's when the most crimes would happen. And there was also this fear of the light of the moon itself. It was considered a good thing to be able to travel by, but if you stood out in the, in the moonlight too long, what would happen is that you would become moonstruck or a lunatic. Now Diaz engages in a number of artistic techniques to really enhance this eerie, scary mood that we get in the picture. Um, first and foremost, what we can see is this kind of very rich impasto. An impasto is when an artist very uh, takes a big old thick brush of paint and very thickly applies it to the canvas. And you can see in particular this area right to the right side of the young woman's skirt in which you can see the paint actually almost raised off the surface. And this gives a very expressive feel to the overall picture. He's also used glazing techniques. And when we talk about glazing and oil painting, what you get is the artist would lay down a layer of opaque paint, or in other words, you can't see through it. And then he would, or she would wait for it to dry. And they would apply a, a transparent layer of paint over top of it. And what that happens or what that creates oftentimes is a kind of stained glass effect in the picture. And if you look actually at the moon, you can see we've got this glowing orb and that's really created through the layers of glaze that Diaz is using in the picture. 
And finally, we have this very limited color palette. And all of the color is a very cold shade from this very kind of white, electric white light that we have beaming from the moon, falling across the young woman, casting um, the sorceress in shadow, and then the very the, the extent of blues and some greens in the picture kind of add to that scary, eerie, spooky feeling of being in, encountering something evil in the night. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope I didn't scare you too much in this Halloween season. Again, this has been Outside the Frame, and we hope that you will come and visit this painting at the Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute.